Hi, in this short series on PowerPoint graphic design ideas, you will learn how to create simple Lego blocks in PowerPoint. I am Ram Gopal from Prezotraining.com, a site that gives creative presentation ideas for trainers. The Lego blocks you will learn to create today look like this. It's a very, very simple graphic to create, but it has a lot of applications. Once you learn how to create a simple graphic like this, then you can stack up multiple Lego blocks to convey different concepts. By the way, what are some of the ideas that come to your mind when you think about a Lego block? So as you can see here, there are so many different concepts that are automatically built inside our minds when it comes to Lego blocks. So you can convey a lot of very interesting strategic concepts using Lego blocks. For example, if I want to communicate a concept like the four building pieces of our organization, I can use something like this. Or if I want to talk about the core structure of our organization, then I can use a graphic like this. So without wasting much time, let us learn how to create this simple graphic from scratch. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu. Under rectangles, I'm going to pick up this one called as the rectangle tool. And that takes care of the basic structure that you see here. Now we need to add these two elements. So let us go to Auto Shapes menu once again. Under rectangles, I'm going to use this one called as round same side corner rectangle. I'm going to draw round same side corner rectangle here. I'm going to hold the yellow handle here at the top and I'm going to move it to the center to increase the curvature. Now that makes the top surface slightly curved and I'm going to place this around here and I'm going to make a copy of this by holding the control button down and I'm going to click and drag this piece to its new location. Now that creates a copy and I can place it on the touching the top edge of the rectangle. Now that we have the basic elements ready, I'm going to click and drag my cursor across all the three shapes and I'm going to go to Format, Merge Shapes and I'm going to click on Union. That's it. Now my basic Lego piece is ready. Now if I want to stack these Lego pieces, all I need to do is to hold the control button down as I click and drag this piece to its new location. And I'm going to do the same. I'm holding the control button down as I click and drag because that creates copies. And now I can always choose a dif different shape fill for this one like this or maybe an orange color for this, maybe a yellow color. As you can see, I can build it the way I want. I can remove the outline if I require or I can choose a white outline if that is your thing. Then I can hold control button down as I click and drag and build the second layer, maybe somewhere around like this. And I can place another one like this. And of course I can change the color and I can finally make this one here. And now I have built a structure using the Lego blocks. I can always go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up a text box tool, and then I can write a sample text, increase the font size of this one to 20 so that it is easily readable. I can adjust the size of the text box and I can place it here and I can always change the font color to make it more readable and then I can replicate the same action for the rest of these blocks and that will give me some interesting ways to represent Lego blocks in my strategy based presentations. What I showed you just now is a simple 2D based Lego block. You can also create realistic looking 3D Lego blocks entirely using PowerPoint. Yes, the ones that you see here are built entirely using PowerPoint. I can always change the nature of these Lego blocks once I create these Lego blocks. For example, if I want to change the color, I can go and change the color of these Lego blocks to whichever color I want. I can change the font colors. I can change the text. Of course, this is um, created entirely using PowerPoint. I can make this into say A, I can do that. There are so many different ways in which I can manipulate. Once you know how to create good 
3D Lego blocks like this. You can also communicate concepts like moving towards number one position and what are the various steps involved in it, etc. Now, once you learn how to create a 3D Lego block, you can take it to the next level by adding custom animation. Let me show you how this advanced custom animation plays out. Here I talk about the various components of building a business. The first one is the base component that is essential. And then I talk about the next level component that you require to take your business to the next level. And then the next one, the next one, and the next one. As you can see here, adding custom animation not only makes your slide interesting and visually appealing for your audience, but it makes your message memorable. When you combine the power of beautiful metaphors like Lego blocks with advanced custom animation techniques, you can make your slides so memorable that your audience will find it hard to forget your messages. I hope you really learned a lot of interesting PowerPoint graphic design ideas from this video. If you want to learn PowerPoint, to take advantage of all the features in PowerPoint and build beautiful looking graphics like the ones that I showed you in the video today, I highly recommend you take a look at our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. It is arguably the most comprehensive training in PowerPoint online. There is no other course or book that teaches you the kind of advanced tips, tricks and techniques that I teach you in Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. You can learn more about this program by clicking on this No More button. I'll also leave a link to the course in the description area below this video. And one more thing before we close this video. If you want to know how to make your training slides creative and interesting, even if your topic is dry and boring, then you please sign up for a fun 7-day email course in prezotraining.com. It's totally free and if you are a trainer, I think it is a must-learn thing for your career. I'll see you on the inside.